It's not often when you have somebody walk up and say, hey, I'm doing an official book and it's a parody of your stuff. Or kind of something like that. Anyway, look who I just met. Whoa. Hi. Michael. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. I'm Mike McMahon. But is it official? Do you have a Comic-Con badge? Oh, I do. I have oh my a, well, God, you even got a professional. Well, I'm, a, I'm a writer on an adult swim show called Rick and Morty. Uh, and I also yes. write a Twitter called TNG Season 8. Yeah. And Simon & Schuster allowed me to make an officially licensed Star Trek guide to the never been made eighth season of Star Trek The Next Generation, <laughs> which I made up and is funny and ridiculous, yep. but it's very in the style of Larry's guides. So I've... Oh, okay. I have poured over many a guide and I saw you sitting here and I was like, well, I've been reading a lot of him. I need to come up and bother him now and tell him what I've been up to. So. You can tell I'm pretty bothered, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so it wasn't a next... parody of The Companion, it was that whole episode guide style. It right. was it was a parody of every kind of guide for Star Trek, Star Wars, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. But The Companion is kind of the... It was just my favorite to go in and read how you talk to an audience about the official made up stuff, which I was trying to get that tone of voice. So because <laughs> you're gonna talk about made up official made up made up stuff. Official made yeah. Not just the made up stuff in the show, but the made up version of that. Oh, well, people so. people I used to blow people's minds when I would talk about Star Trek nonfiction and they'd go, Well it's all right, nonfiction. Exactly. But no. you're writing nonfiction nonfiction. No, no, no. I'm writing stuff that people will love but they'll also be like, well this is BS. This is not <laughs> real Star Trek. You said adult swim you said? Adult Swim, you said. Well, I work on a show for Adult Swim yes. as a staff writer. Yes. Uh, and I wrote the book as well while I was working there. But they're not related. They're just both funny. No, no, no. I'm just saying, Adult Swim, that sounds like we're opening the door to an awful lot of snark and funny there. Oh, I don't yeah, know. exactly. If we you, may have uh, people like, under 20 maybe reading this. I don't know. Yes. Star Trek, or I don't under know. under 20 people will be reading it. We'll have to figure it. We'll have to find out. No, no, no. I think, I think it'll be beyond that. No, I'm just... Yeah, I, the, the worry has been for so many years. No one, you know, we've got to recharge the base. We've got to have the. Well, I mean, we haven't gotten to the point where we're in space yet, so we all have to still go to Star Trek. Exactly. Uh, there you go. So, and then there also. I'm sorry. That like sounded me. pretty sincere. Oh, I love Star Trek. I could never make fun of it without. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm a sincere, pretty guy. I know. I'm I a can pretty tell. sincere guy, but I'm also pretty. Um, so anyway, check it out. It's next March. It should be coming out. Oh, okay. We're on. And, uh, is it done? Done. It's written, we're working on the art right now, okay. and it's pretty great. It's gonna, you were telling me it's going to have some awesome art? It's going to have some awesome art, um, and uh, it's going to have some behind-the-scenes photos. I went to the Star Trek archive and pulled some out, uh, and I've got my own star dates where it fits in between uh, the <laughs> end of Season 7 of TNG and before Generations. So oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. You're actually fitting it in I'm before. Really, it really okay. works. So if you want... Start really 48. bad season of Star Trek. I made one up. Start eight forty eight thousand Z's, right? Exactly. Yep. Man, yep. start dates are not easy. No. So. No. Anyway. Did you did you get a hold of the memo that Mike did to show how they would progress through a season? Yeah, but everybody's got different memos for different seasons and. Well, but the, the three digits are the same. Right, but there's a difference between. Listen, let's not get into. The <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about star dates. Um, well, you're the first one ever. No, I'm I, in a long time. <laughs> uh, but it's cool because as I was writing the guide, I would also read interviews with people who wrote the actual seasons, and I'd be like, "This is the same stuff I'm running into. There's nothing for Beverly to do." I have to make her cooler and stuff like that. So, <laughs> well, uh, Jerry was, Taylor tried. Jerry Taylor tried very hard. Yes, but, absolutely. Yes. I mean, they all were amazing. So, are you sure this is like a parody? Are you sure this isn't the secret se eighth oh. season that was shelved? Well, I can't admit that. We have to call it a parody. But there might be a cardboard box full of VHS tapes of one more season of TNG. Oh my God! So because they've worked so hard on planning ahead. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so. Anyway. Michael, thank you for stopping by. This hey, has been no a real problem. hoot. Thanks a lot. Okay, Good luck, and I'll we'll talk see to you. you uh, we'll talk to you soon down the line. And Check it out next March. March. Yeah. What's the name again? It's called Star Trek: The Next Generation, Season Eight, Warped, and uh, it'll be the worst-looking Star Trek guide out there. So that'll be how you. Well, I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. <laughs> thanks. Okay, thanks for stopping by, man. Thank you, Larry. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.